Hey guys, welcome back to another Funky Food Friday here at Big John TV. I love these days. I love them. So much of a variety, so many weird different things. I literally walk through the grocery store aisles looking for things sometimes, and it's like, nope, 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 yes. And this was one of these times. This is from, both these are from Dollar General. They were about two or three bucks a can. Um, I hope I don't lose my Pitmaster card for this. Um, my barbecue friends watching this, please don't judge me. I have to do it for video purposes. We've got shredded white chicken in barbecue sauce in a can and fully cooked pulled pork in water also in a can. I have no idea what these are going to be like. I may be surprised. I may be grossed out. I don't know. Both of these are ready to serve um, cold or hot which is a little bit weird by itself. This one's got the pop top here. This is like I'm opening a can of, do of dog or cat food. Oh, that. <laughs> Did I get some on you? <laughs> oh, that looks... Tell me that does not look like dog food. Will it hold? <laughs> oh, no. Not quite. Most of it landed on the plate though. Not bad. Um, okay, so you've seen that one. Now let's open the pulled pork. Fully cooked pulled pork. I don't under They lose me at the in water part. Like, like it's one thing to have that's smelly. Jess is making faces. These cans are smelling as they're opening it. Smells like opening a can of tuna. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh. <laughs> that looks worse okay. than the canned chicken. I can't. I can't go. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to come in on this one. Look at that. That's hideous. Look at those little globulars of, of coagulated oh. fat. Oh no, that's oh, terrible. Oh yes. So these are Clover Valley brand. Um, Clover Valley brand. Again, these are from Dollar General. Um, I have. Hey Jamie, you want to earn five bucks? No. Maddie, you want five bucks? Okay. Drink this, I'll give you five bucks. Okay. Okay. This is like this is like tuna. This looks realistically, because tuna is not really fishy, right? So this this is reminding me of tuna. Like straight up. I'm a little bit. No, watch it be awesome. <laughs> okay. So for video purposes. Um, I am going to take a bite cold of both of them. Um, I'm going to try to avoid those globs of solid fat. Alright, so there we go. It's good and tender looking. It smells, it smells like it's ham, that's, or uh, not ham, sorry, spam. It smells like spam chunked up into a can. Alright. Here we go. That is so dry. Wow. <clears throat> the flavor's not bad. It's just a texture thing. This is dry and chewy and salty. It's very salty. Fully cooked pulled pork in a can. Okay. Let's try some of this barbecue. Now this is actually got some barbecue sauce on it. So it's shredded and sauced. Hopefully they're not trying to hide something extra gross with the barbecue sauce. But mm. All you taste is the barbecue sauce. There's nothing to it. Texturally, it's a bit better than pork, but not bad. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. The other, the pork, and some of this chicken. I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna try it warm. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. The meat is hot. It is ready to go. Um, looking at this now and deciphering it, I, I'm curious as to what kind of pork this actually is. 
Uh, pulled pork is traditionally a pork butt or a picnic shoulder. Um, I don't think this is either. I probably shouldn't ask. I should probably just eat it. Uh, it's so salted. That literally tastes like spam. Chunked up. Let's see if the barbecue chicken's any better warm. Oh man. Making a mess. The the barbecue sauce that's in there is bad. It's just like ketchup. It's really not good. There's a fake smoke flavor in there that I can't really stand. I can't stand that fake smoke flavor. Um, just for for honesty sake here, I'm going to give it a full run like, on a bun. Like This is how I'd serve it if I was going to do this, kind of like Sloppy Joe style. Um, definitely want it warm. Throw it on a bun. The texture of this meat, it just it's complete mush. So when you're biting it with the bread, it's like the bread has more texture than the meat. It's I, it's not horrible, but I definitely would not recommend it or buy it again. The kids might actually like it because it's fairly bland. Yeah, that's just weird. All right, so I'm gonna do the same with the pork. Like the saltiness level of this one. While it is too salty, it at least has something. All this meat, all the chicken has is the barbecue sauce, and it doesn't taste like a good sauce. So, this looks, it, I mean, everything about this screams tuna to me. The smell, the liquid, the drainage, like. So, I got a Carolina, Heinz brand Carolina vinegar style, tangy. Um, pulled pork and Carolina style sauce. Sounds like a good mixture to me. This was in the fridge already. So, let's give this a little bit. A little bit of help like if you were gonna make a coleslaw or something to put that on there too that might work all right here we go that's just so weird again it's not horrible I'm not spitting it out but that meat is just nothing but salty and like a weird texture. I am seriously curious though, is, like is this a pork loin? Where did this meat come from? Scraps from leftovers of Spam? Mixing that sauce in there makes it edible. Otherwise, it's not really. So, there you go. Funky Food Friday. Fully cooked pulled pork in water. And shredded white chicken in barbecue sauce from Dollar General. Just keep right on walking. I am not a fan. Okay, we're going to wrap it up. But I may actually have to show you guys a real true, honest pulled pork recipe now to validate and to get my credibility back on this one. Um, pulled chicken, that's kind of, yeah, I don't care about that so much, but... I'm going to have to show you guys a real true traditional pulled pork recipe now to make up for this monstrosity of canned meat barbecue-ish. I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if, you see, if you know some other funky ideas, give me some suggestions. I'm always willing to hear you guys and listen to your ideas. Um, if you enjoy the shows, make sure you do those three things. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. And that's it. All right, catch you guys next time. See you.